Next up, this is another big release from Microsoft, um, just coming soon and, and being released recently. Um, it is the new scheduler tool for Microsoft 365. Um, scheduler is has been made with the aim of taking all the hassle out of um, organising your diary and arranging meetings between multiple different people, whether they're inside your organisation and also um, external contractors, um, external staff who, who don't have access to your diary. Um, scheduler allows you, well, it does it for you, it emails attendees, it organises teams meetings, it finds meeting times to suit everyone, and it even reschedules meetings should there be a clash. I don't know about you, but um, since we've all been um, working from home more and, and um, since you know lockdown and everything, meetings have definitely increased. Um, we, as you can't just wander past someone in the office and grab their attention, people are putting in um, requests for meetings to, to get more jobs done. And in actual fact, a study has shown that weekly meetings have increased by 148% um, um, in that time. Um, more worryingly than that, um, that same study showed that meetings on average take between six and 29 minutes to schedule. Obviously, that's not just clicking add to Outlook. That includes all the backwards and forwards of trying to find a time that suits everybody. So that, that time could be used much better if you're able to um, focus on your job instead of trying to organise meetings. That's what Scheduler is here to do. Um, Scheduler enables you to easily schedule a meeting with people inside of your organisation because it has access to everybody's Outlook calendars. It, show, it sees the same information that you'll be able to see if you did it manually. Um, it can see people's calendars, can see whether they're busy or available. So it uses that information to organise a time that suits everybody and um, puts it into everybody's diary. Um, to, and it can do that any time of day, 24-7, um, rescheduling, arranging, going back and forwards to check everyone's on the right time. Um, even more interestingly than that, it can do the same for external people. So whereas when you're work, uh, organising meeting with people internal to your organisation and you can see when they're busy and when they're available, you can't always do that with external people. Um, what Scheduler can do is use um, natural language processing to send an email to the person you want to arrange a meeting with and it will find a time in their diary that suits them as well. So it can check your diary, send them options for meeting times. It will then get a response from them, whether in any of those work um, or it can propose a new time to suit both of you. If I move to the next slide, I'll show you an example of how it can do this. So you can see on the left in the phone view, um, we've got someone called Robin who's trying to organise a meeting with someone called Henry. Um, all they have had to do is CC Cortana in. Cortana is the um, uh, assistant uh, to scheduler that will um, organise your calendar for you. And you can, all you can see is Robin has written, let's work together on our marketing plan. Um, Cortana, help us find a time next week for a Teams call. That's it. That's all the input Robin has to do to get this meeting sorted. Um, Cortana then uses natural language processing, so you don't have to use any special technical language um, for it to pick that up. And you can see the email on the right is the, um, the email that Cortana then sends to Henry to arrange this meeting. So you can see it says, I'm helping Robin schedule a 30 minute meeting for you both. Here are some proposed times. So those proposed times are um, available spaces within Robin's calendar that he would be able to meet. And obviously Cortana has picked up that it, it knows um, that we, they need a 30 minute meeting. Um, it's then offered those times to Henry and given him the option. So you could say any of those times work, in which case Cortana will just pick one of those and schedule it in. He can pick one of those times and, and again, Cortana will schedule that in for both of them. Or he can come back and um, suggest a different time. So if none of those work, he can su suggest a different time. Cortana will be able to use that information to check if that works for Robin. And it will go backwards and forwards. It does all that horrible, boring stuff that you usually end up doing manually, but it will do it all for you. And then once a consensus has been reached on the timing, um, it will put that into both participants' calendars. 
So um, yeah, that's that's a new the new backend service um, that provides scheduling intelligence, and it can be enabled by your Microsoft 365 administrator. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's one of those things that you it sounds simple on the surface, but it can actually save you a long time, uh, a lot a lot of time in the in the long run. So um, yeah, really interesting. <laughs> 